Girl, what's up? Let's get ready and let's talk. I need to rehydrate my face because it's mostly dry and you'll see that I have a breakout right here because I have rosacea, you know that. This is the Prequel Universal Skin Solution Dermal Spray. This is to keep the skin hydrated because you don't want your face to get dry before you start putting on your products. This is the Pharmacy Wake Up Honey Eye Cream. Let's do that and let's talk because I feel like it's been a while since we've done this. If you don't watch my vlogs, perhaps you don't get the chit chat side of me. I've been doing a lot of reflection on a lot of things lately. Obviously a lot of things that are not made for the internet and some things that I am willing to share. So let's talk about that while we do our skincare and hopefully you're doing your skincare right now and or just remind yourself, girl, what you need to be doing. This is the Nip and Fab Hydrate Hyaluronic serum this thing is almost done i love a good hyaluronic serum especially in this weather so more and more i am dang this thing's about done more and more i am prioritizing how i look and how i feel if you've been here for some time at least a year then i've talked about this before but it's becoming more and more important to me the more i mature because i want to live long i want to feel good i want to look good i mean who doesn't right especially if you're a mom i feel like it's even more important to make sure that you are taking care of self i talked in a video a while ago about how I had lost myself. And it's not something that I feel you just snap your finger and then you're back. It definitely has to be maintained. Pharmacy 10% waterless vitamin C serum. All links are below in case you wanna look at any of these products. It's something that has to be maintained. I literally have to say to myself, okay, today I'm going here and I wanna get dressed. Now granted, there's more of an incentive for me because everything is content if I choose for it to be content. So if I know, okay, I'm just going to lunch with me or I don't know, anywhere. <laughs> Really, I'm like, okay, let's make it a thing, all right? We're gonna do a get ready with me. We're gonna get dressed. I'm gonna wear something that is for me and not necessarily for TJ Maxx. Just to go for the TJ Maxx, you know? I'm gonna get dressed for myself. So I get it, the incentive is different for me. But I'm also like, you know what though? Even when I was working in the office, the people around me dressed like what? And I still was like, when I walk up in there, it's gonna be something. So I've for a long time been dressing for self. This is Dermalogica SPF 50. With this said, I just wanna encourage you that if you can, it doesn't mean you're wearing Prada Gucci, right? But if you can, I feel like it's just so important. At least it makes me feel good. Even if you're going just to the most simple everyday place to put yourself together. So let me explain, right? Been home all week and left one time. <laughs> and I'm leaving again today because I'm like, yo, no, 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 no. We gotta go outside. So this is, looks like a lot, but it's going to, it's gonna, it's gonna absorb. It doesn't wait. To take me to the doctor because he wasn't feeling well. And of course I made a thing out of it. I was like, I'm gonna get dressed. I just did my whole situation, hair, makeup, the whole thing. And I did my slick back, which I'm gonna do today too. Cause that's my power hairstyle. And if you don't have a power hairstyle, you should figure that out. What is the hairstyle that you like to do that you know looks good on you that people compliment you for that you like. And for me, it's that slick back ponytail or a slick back bun. I did my whole situation and and I put on a body tank top bodysuit underneath and a blazer and I did jeans and some sandals in my purse and I went to the appointment and I've just learned and I'm sure you have to comment and let me know if you have or not that people treat you based on how you look let's just call it a hundred you feel me and even when I go have lunch with me at his school I'm like I'm going to present myself with my best foot forward this is the pattern beauty jojoba oil and yes it's an opportunity for me to get dressed to wear what I have you feel me I don't be out like that like that so it's a fun opportunity to play dress up but it's also also to let people know that this is my standard and you will treat me accordingly. So I went to the doctor's appointment and I was looking how I was looking, you know, like someone that cares about themselves. And there was a bit of a problem. <laughs> Hello? I had a bit of a problem with the provider and I raised concern and ended up speaking with the nurse and the nursing, the doc, what, the hospital supervisor or something. I forget what her actual title was and she was very sweet. Now, one thing that I knew is that I had presented myself in a way where don't mess with me. You feel what I'm saying? One might, might even say, don't F with me, you feel me? And I just knew it. Come on, let's just call it what it is. You know when you serve in, you feel me? You know when it's like, excuse me, I'm not one to play with. And then that also is accompanied by my vernacular and we'll get to that. So I, I had raised that concern and I, I'm not lying to you. Obviously I couldn't have predicted that this would happen, but I was so happy that I got myself together that day just to go to the doctor's office because if I was looking any kind of way, yes, my concern would have been heard. Yes, Yes, I do believe that it would have been addressed, but I do believe that the way that it was addressed would have been different. Obviously, I don't know that because it didn't happen, but come on, let's just call it what it is. I've been in situations where I've had to address things and I've always been so grateful that for the most part, I've looked how I feel most confident. Now, if I had gone there with a head tie because my child is sick and I ain't got time and maybe I'm sick or whatever, then you know, it just is what it is. Like I'm not trying to shame anyone. If this, this being whatever it is, is the best you can do, then let it be the best you can do, you feel me? But of course that day, most days, 
I'm using my big old huge gel. I can do a lot more, meaning I can give myself more time to get ready and I did just that. So when I raised my concern, I could just, you just know, or I just know when someone's like, yes, I understand, you mean business, <laughs> excuse me? I do mean business, you know? I'm not in a position where I want what I'm saying to ever be clouded by how I look in the negative way. Now, you might think, oh, you look too dressed up, this is too much, maybe it's distracting. One could say that, but for me, I'd rather be polished, put together from head to toe and raise a concern or talk to someone of authority than to not be polished, put together, to look disheveled. It might not necessarily mean that you don't care about yourself, but we've gotta understand that in this society, how we look says a lot about us and people will make inferences simply from looking at us, speaking to us over the phone, anything. People make inferences and we do it too. Let's just, let's just call it what it is, we do it too, you feel me? You see someone and you be like, oh wow, she looks serious, or oh wow, she looks important, or oh wow, he looks like he must have a position of authority. Come on, we all do it, you feel me? I was thinking about that and I'm like, I'm so glad I actually got myself together because it just makes a difference when I've got to speak with someone of authority. And I've been thinking, man, I remember the days when I just would just go any kind of way anywhere, you feel me? And, and some days, I mean, granted, one day I have my hair in those satin curlers and the satin, what you call it? <laughs> Curling rods. And I did go through the carpool lane with them in my hair, okay? I did. <laughs> you know, we be, we be having stuff like that, you feel me? But when I get out and I come into the school, for whatever reason, you gonna know and understand that I mean business, you know? I'm gonna always dress higher than the occasion calls for because this is my brand. This is my representation. This is just me and that's, that's what I want, you feel me? I just know that people take me a lot more seriously when I am well put together. So I just love that. And with that said, I've been more intentional. You know that I've been on the keto diet for years and I've been working out more more intently or more seriously over the past year, over a year now, year and a half. Ooh, my, <laughs> my part is real quick, yeah, whatever. I've even more so been like, nah, yo, it's grind time because I'm getting more mature and I wanna look and feel my best. Like, I don't wanna be older and then complaining about, oh, I feel so old. Yeah, right. I literally feel like I'm in my prime right now. I do not feel like my 20s was my prime. I feel like my prime is now. And that could be because I'm able to live a more flexible life. <laughs> I mean, let's just call that what it is, right? But I also understand myself a lot better. I'm a lot wiser, obviously. I have different interests and goals, which just makes life more enjoyable for me. I'm not just waking up every day and going with whatever comes my way. I'm actually thinking about what I want for myself and how to go about that, because that's important too. I feel like in my younger days, <laughs> I know like I'm 50, but I feel like in my younger days, it was just, you know, it just was what it was. What, I was in school, I went to grad, school. I was working in between. I mean, I had a job since I was 16 years old, finished grad school, then moved to Houston and began working, like working a real job. Like that was my job that I had gone to graduate school for. And you know, I got to do my got to be because this is not slicked down enough. And you know, what's so interesting is even when I was younger and I had worked these different jobs in high positions in reputable places with people of authority, I did not recognize that I already had that in me. I was the one at these jobs that people would always comment on like, oh, you always look so nice. Where you going? And I'd be like, I'm coming to work. Aren't you working too? I mean, you're working, but you chose to come in here any kind of way. You feel me? And that's how you chose to come in as an aha. I'm going to come in here. You know? And then lo and behold, look where I am now. It just all comes full circle. But I recognize how putting in the extra time to get ready, whether it's getting ready two hours before an event or an hour and a half or rushing to do it all in an hour, how that makes me feel. I walk with more confidence. I speak with more confidence because I know that the person on the other side of me, whether it's the cashier at Smoothie King or it is anybody, I just know that they're looking at me like, oh, okay, she don't play. And let's just call it what it is. I want you to think I don't play because number one, I don't play and number two, don't play me. <laughs> like, don't think that this is a game. I need the respect that I need and I need it at all times. And that just is what it is. Now, of course, that means that I do give the respect out. This is not to say that we're walking around like, hold my purse. You know, we're not doing that, obviously. Or if it's not obvious, let me just clarify, right? That's not what I'm saying. But <laughs> there are levels to how I expect to be treated. And I recognize how when you put yourself together, folks don't play with you. And I, I just feel like as we are getting older, or I don't know how old you are watching this or listening to this, there's just something to be said about dressing the way that makes you feel best. So what makes you feel best and what makes me feel best may be different. So I'm not saying you gotta go put on a full face of makeup and take two hours to get ready for dinner. You feel me? Do what 
makes you feel best. Like I said, with the power hairstyle or your strong hairstyle or your look, right? You might just have something that you feel looks good on you. If it's blazers, if it's high-waisted jeans, if it's bodysuits, skirts, if whatever you feel, okay, when I wear this type of outfit, when I do this hairstyle, when I do this makeup look, it makes me feel powerful. It makes me feel confident. It makes me feel strong. Then that's what I'm talking about. Get those things in your arsenal because then when you do that, when you put that on and you got somewhere to go, whether it be somewhere real simple like running to Target or you got a job interview or whatever it is, you're a holiday party, who knows? When you do that, you automatically going to walk with your head up. Look at them. Look at those wiggles. You know, I got the fading going. When I do this, it's not as obvious. When you walk into them places, I believe that you're going to walk differently because you're already dressing and looking the way that makes you feel most confident. I don't care if I have to go in and have a meeting with Denise's teacher at his school. Best believe I'm going to get myself together. <laughs> and then people are going to be looking at me like, I mean, as they always do. You feel me? Because <laughs> yes, yes, I don't play around with myself and I'm not going to play around with you. <laughs> You feel me? So that's just what it is. In addition to being more mindful about how I look, because that goes along with how I'm presenting myself and the confidence, right? It's how I speak. Now, like I mentioned before, I've gone to graduate school. I've done public speaking events. I worked a job where I had to give presentations to hundreds, a few thousand people. Was it a few thousand? One or two times, maybe like a thousand people. So I had to get over that fear of public speaking. And then I also had to get rid of filler words and words that made me seem that I was not confident. For instance, since the filler word is ah, uh, mm, so, all that stuff. All the things that you say and do to avoid pauses. I don't do that. If you recognize when I speak, if I do it, it's because I'm just being lazy and I'll go back and then fix it because I can't stand it. I can't stand filler words. And what it does is make you seem like you're not confident. Not only that, the words that I choose to speak or to employ when I speak have become more important to me. I had shared on my IG story one time that I was, while getting ready, watching a video that was talking about speech and how to speak more confidently. And I like to watch videos like that because I'm all about learning. I have a growth mindset. I feel like that's important. And what we consume is what comes out of us. So what I listen to is how I'm going to speak. Now granted, we are gonna throw in a little slang because that's just what it is, you feel me? But on a regular basis, no, I like to speak properly. That to me, wow, I'm looking real shiny. The, the SPF has absorbed as you can see. <laughs> oh, I look real shiny, but you know, that's okay because it is cool outside. Look at, you can see my rosacea, I'm so annoyed. It is cooler outside today. So I was thinking, should I do the Gucci foundation? Because if I do, I'm gonna need to hydrate my skin with the milk spray, but you know what? Since my face is so dewy, it'll balance out. It'll balance out and it'll be comfortable. Cause the Gucci foundation is what? A satin matte? I don't know. It'd it be mattifying me. I love it though. The way that we speak, it also means something. For instance, if I am having to speak with someone of authority in any way, how I speak says a lot about me. So I take my time. If I have to pause, I'll do that with confidence. <laughs> you should see. When I'm talking with someone, I know what I'm doing and I'm always looking at their body language to see how they're responding to me. I think that it's hilarious. And this this is not me telling someone about themselves. No, it could just be, hey, listen, I, I, I need to speak with you about something. Do you have a second? Just like that, just, just when you say that, whoever you're talking with is like, oh, yes. <laughs> what, what's going on? You see what I'm saying? It, it already just screams, I am confident and I have something to say. You know what I'm saying? Let's start the makeup. This is the Gucci foundation that I love. All links are down below. And let's continue our conversation. I know because I've been there, that it's easy to feel like, well, if I take care of myself and I put all this energy into me, then perhaps it will take away from caring about people that I love, whether it be your husband, boyfriend, children. We'll put boyfriend aside, girl, because that's not serious until y'all married, okay? Pretty cool. And I get that. I completely get that, but it was in 2020 when COVID hit that I was like, nah, son, I need to have things that I do for me. That is so stinking important. And I used to be in my bathroom a lot. I used to have my facial steamer and I do my skincare sessions. I play music. I listen to a podcast. I was just doing what would make me happy because I've learned that I can't get my happiness from other people. I've got to do things for myself to be happy. No one else is responsible for that. Because what will happen, and I've been there, is if you put all your happiness 
confidence on somebody else and then it's not working they're not doing it how you want it when you want it at the frequency and the pace that you want it then you are bitter with that person you become resentful and this can even happen with your children i do all this for you and you guys are messing up or y'all ain't whatever the case is you feel me and maybe god forbid you've been in a position where your parents have treated you that way there's a book that i actually have on my want to read list in ibooks called adult children of emotionally abusive wait emotionally unavailable what emotionally unintelligent something parents either way all of those things are bad right i feel like it's so important to take care of self and there's nothing wrong with that i have found however like i mentioned a while ago and i still try to do is hard it's not easy i found that the easiest way to do it to set aside that time for self is you gotta add more time to your day so that means getting up early that means if we're supposed to be somewhere at this time and i got the kids and all of this i gotta do beforehand start getting ready two hours before that or an hour before that whatever that is so that you are already set and then you can take care of the kids and whomever else because yo I can't be looking any kind of crazy way and I love how I feel when I've put in that extra time to just get myself ready I think you agree with that comment let me know if you do this is the Sephora best skin ever full coverage multi-use foundation oh excuse me concealer 50 n is the shade I had to pull back the hairline oh I pulled it back prematurely look at me chit-chatting and just getting all confused I pulled it back prematurely I pulled it back when I do my contour I could have left it there some for some time I hope that that's dry the hairline hair Hair is obviously not as dense as the hair on the rest of my head so that means that it dries faster okay good this is dry Woo! I was gonna say not me messing up my hair my swoops gotta lay down okay let's blend this with the beauty blender this is a new one so it looks real crisp and good and this shade 50 n I thought was gonna be way too light but it be blended it's my second time using it it be blending how it needs to blend now I can't lie to you I'm breaking out right now rosacea is chronic I use medication it is what it is and I was like oh god I gotta put on makeup over this but let's call it what it is this is something that i have to deal with and i've dealt with for 13 14 years now before i came to houston i broke out with it in grad school and i was like excuse me what is this and i've been dealing with it ever since you feel me we still gonna get dressed with or without it we still gonna put ourselves together and right now i'm not going anywhere important today but like i said for myself i just love it and it's what i do and we get to chit chat and get ready i'm gonna get myself together for me i've even started saying to myself you know what i want to have my face on before the sun comes up <laughs> can you imagine having my face on yes I want to have my face on because to me the face being on means I'm ready for the day that would mean that I would have to start my day working early which is what I try to do but I don't always do it right I want to read my devotional read a bunch of pages in my book whatever I'm reading so I finished reading the book by Sarah Jace Roberts and I could read a chapter each morning and one chapter might take me 15 minutes or something like that right 20 minutes I don't know I wasn't counting but this new book that I'm reading <laughs> Think and grow rich. God, those chapters are long, so I can't read a chapter a day like I was doing with the Sarah Jakes book. That one was more conversational and easy read. No, this one is like, what? So I've been doing a few pages in the morning. So if I wanted to have my makeup on, which would make me feel like, yes, I'm ready to start my day. And what, the sun comes up at, what in the world? What time's it come up now? I don't know, seven something? And working out, you feel me? I've been doing the stepper. I'll link it below, the one that I saw on TikTok. It's really good, it's from Amazon. I enjoy it. I've been doing an hour ish per day and then can you imagine who am I and then doing my Sydney Cummings because I've been at home because Muni has been sick right I will obviously be going to the gym my goal what I'm trying to say is is to do cardio and the workouts because they're usually with weights she does cardio in her workouts but I know that for my body size and what I want to do I need in my age I need to do more cardio so my goal is to do my own stepper cardio an hour a day and then you know whatever else I know that I would need to do all of that before I obviously shower do my hair do makeup and be ready for the day so <laughs> that would mean the girl gotta be you feel me up and at it with serious intention very early in the morning that was lys worthy bronza and you might be listening to this thinking what in the world and why well the why is based on you and this why is based on me i feel better getting ready early i feel better starting my day ready i feel better doing all of these things because they're important to me having my quiet time with god reading my devotional praying reading my book to edify myself of course doing my workout because i have health goals it's not just about losing weight i'm going to trim body fat and i want to feel stronger i love feeling my muscles in my body i want to feel stronger and i want to live longer all of that is so important to me and i know that once the day gets going and it's 10 and it's 11 and it's 12 it just gets 
hard to do all those things because then it's like, oh, I start feeling sluggish, you feel me? It's important to do the hard things early, the stuff that just makes you drag. Let's get that stuff done early, you feel me? So that once you start feeling sluggish, you already did all the hard stuff, all the stuff that's gonna take a lot out of you. A lot is relative, but you get what I mean. So yeah, girl, those are my goals each morning. Do I do them each morning? I might do a few. You feel me? But not all of them. And that's realistic. But the goal is to do that. This is a 4F57 brush. This is a cosmetics brush. And we're going to get this nose together, okay? I do my usual highlight and setting powder. I'll link everything below. This is the Elf Cosmetics Powder Foundation. Another thing too that goes along with the confidence. Oh, we're back to confidence. I know that we had just jumped to <laughs> the daily things that we do for ourselves to edify and to grow. That's important. Real quick, back to confidence. All the ties in though, you feel me? Is just having a good grip on your everyday makeup routine. Now you might not do it every single day. That's up to you. I'm not here to tell you what to do, you feel me? But if you're here watching, you have some aspiration of putting yourself together in some way, at least a few times a week, you feel me? So the practice does make perfect. It always just kills me slowly when people don't put in the practice. I wouldn't be where I am if I didn't put one foot in front of the other. I'm just saying. Good old face powder. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth. Love this, love this fluffy brush. This is number 80 from Sephora Collection as well. And you can do this all over your face on top of your foundation. And you can skip some of these steps if this is just not your forte. Do whatever makes you feel confident. And if that's just BB cream, go ahead and do that. If that's just your skincare and powder, then do that. Do what makes you feel good. For me, if I'm getting ready, it's a full face. It's a full face or nothing at all. And that just is what it is for the kid. But I'm getting ready. I gotta do the full face. We gotta do the full face. We gotta do the whole thing. <laughs> Let's pull this back. We've, we're making some headway here. And one thing I have to always remember, first of all, look at my ears. <laughs> taped back like this. Here we are. Oh, and I did put my contour in my hairline, okay? So that it's not at, like so light. This is my actual scalp color, but you know, you put the contour in there, then it just doesn't look so bald. <laughs> you don't look so thin, you feel me? And my contour's are real strong today. There's a lot of things happening right now. Okay, let's do the eyes now. I did an eye look in a different video. If you haven't seen it, watch it, where I did a green look, you feel me? And mind you, I used this, uh, this, what is it called? I'm gonna link it below this, uh, what you call energy drink for when you work out. I took it too late and I feel like it's kicking in. I feel very energized. I don't feel jittery, which is great. I'll link it. I can't think of me right now. Anyhow, this is the Huda Glowish Palette. I have mattified. Oh, this is not fluffy enough. It's, it's more stiff. I'll use that for the brown. I need something more loose to get this reddish brown in here. So I did a green look and I loved it. And I was like, oh, should I make this army green my everyday makeup look color? Cause you know, I normally do the brown. I don't know. We'll see how I feel about that. It's from Iconic London. Today, I'm gonna use the blue one. It's a cream eyeshadow. I enjoy it. I enjoyed that look so much. I was pissed that I had gotten ready so late that day, so I didn't get enough wear out of it. Isn't that annoying? Today, I'm gonna do the blue version of it. Same product, just the blue one, okay? So when I did that look, if you watch that video, I put my crease color on after I put the lid color on. And I was like, oh man, I got ahead of myself. I really should do my crease color first and then put that lid color on. So let's do that. This is the reddish brown in the Huda Obsessions palette. It's a warm matte. Oh, I always forget to say that. Warm matte palette, okay? We are doing the reddish brown because I love how that looks on brown skin, baby. Let's blend this really, really well. You feel me? And bring it into the front of the nose here. This is a longer video. I feel like y'all want longer videos. I'm still gonna do the one hour, probably longer than that. Video where it's lightly edited so you see everything. And I'm gonna introduce you to a new brush set that I got that I love. You can do beginning to end makeup look with it. That'll be coming soon. I just can't, I can't do that today because I, I gotta go. You feel me? I gotta get out of the house. We've been in the house for all week. It's just a lot. So here we are with the reddish brown color. Might look a little orange to you, honestly. Reddish orange color, whatever. Right here in the crease. And then what I was saying earlier with this tighter, more densely packed brush. This is Morphe M573. We're gonna go with the brown because it's tighter. It's more stiff. And then that's gonna go right here. Okay. I could do the looser brush that I was just using using also it just depends on what i'm trying to do you feel me so right here in the crease we are going to bring it to the front of the brow because that makes such a difference i want it to all be smoked and blended nicely oh my god i'm so annoyed so because i'm a creature of habit i just started going in on this <laughs> 
and I put the brown under my eyes. That's okay though. We are still gonna go forward with this look. Let's just see how it comes out. This is the iconic London Smoky Eye Duo Kajal. You got a thinner pencil on this side and a thicker one on this side. The color does not look anything like the cap, okay? Clearly a lot darker. I think this is gonna be really cute. And I'm wearing a blue sweater today, so this will be nice. Nice and deep and dark. I love how creamy this is. Ooh. Let's get this real close to the lash line, even though I'm gonna put eyeliner on, but still. And what I like about this, and I liked it about the other one, when I did the green look, is that you have time to blend this. It don't dry as fast as those Fenty ones do. Good Lord. If you're trying this for the first time, go easy and blend. If you're scared to put this all over the eyelid like this, but you know, I know what to expect. I know what I'm doing <laughs> for the most part. Ooh, it looks more bold on the camera that it does in person. In person, it's almost like a tealish. I'm gonna use a Sephora Pro Crease Brush because it's just shorter. And we're gonna blend this harsh line right here. I'm wiping the brush on the paper and towel in front of me and then blending some more. So it really should fade right into the brown. What I can say is that this blue is a little more messy. It's harder to blend. What I mean by that is when it's mixing with the brown, it's giving green and I don't want green in my crease. So this is the kind of color that I would have uh, ideally went over with another blue shadow, but I don't feel like doing that right now. But just FYI, I like the green better because it didn't do all this. Granted, I did put the brown on afterward. We're gonna make it look work though. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna force it to work. <laughs> like, excuse me, I gotta move on. Okay, I gotta move on. It's just blending into green and that's just how blue is. Yeah, here we are. Let's do eyeliner and then the inner eye tear duct lashes and then let's do the lip. I guess a little icing on the cake for this blue look. This is a Mill Cosmetics Rise Mascara. This shade is called Lifted Waterproof. Oh God, a waterproof. I'll use a waterproof remover situation to take this off. Back when I used to work at MAC, I used to do blue, light, blue mascara, different colors, and I haven't done that in a while. We're doing something new today. All right. Have I used this before? I don't think I, wait, what? If it's blue, why is the wand black? I thought this mascara was blue. That's just the packaging. I'm irritated. Wouldn't you see this and think that the shade of the mascara is blue? <laughs> I thought I was doing something. Okay, well, I already opened it, so let's use it. I'm annoyed. Uh, I thought this was gonna give me a blue color. I wanted to do something fun. All right, let's see what this is talking about. You know I don't be trying new stuff on my bottom lashes. Oh my God. No, no, it ain't rising anything. Not enough, not enough volume at all. No, let's do Huda One Coat because we know that she gonna work, okay? Look at that, already, volume thickness. Okay, we're finally at the end. Thanks for watching this video all the way up until this point, girl. You are real one. I have been enjoying these make. The whole tube ain't got nothing on it. It's Make Cosmetics. This is the shade Catalyst. I wore pink lipstick from Make and I was like, wow, this is so juicy. That was very vibrant and electric. This I'm hoping will look good on me. This is not as dark as I usually like my lipstick to be when I'm thinking of the brown shade for the outer part, but let's try it out. It looks pretty. It's gonna be creamy. Ooh. Oh crap, hold on. <laughs> this is not the brown I need. Wow, this is more orange. No, I can't wear this right now. Cause that's not what I'm going for. I'm not going for blue and orange. Ooh, okay, we're gonna save this for another time. What? Oh, that was more burnt orange. It is not gonna match this blue eye. Blue and orange, I'm not doing that today. Okay, we are back to Sephora Collection 26. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, baby. Blop, blop and blot. Oh, and then part of just having your power look is a good nude, a good nude for your skin tone. This might be too dark for you. It might be too light for you. You gotta find what works for you. This is the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist 190. I just cleaned my brushes and look at my hands. Mad ashy. Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. I love it. It dries quickly. It smells great. I just cleaned all my brushes and put them away. You should be so proud. Wait, this is pink. Do I want pink today? I wanted to go more peach. That's fine. Cool, it's soft now that I've blended it. It melted very nicely into the 26 lip stain. All right, so here's the finished look. What do you think about it? It's a nice peekaboo blue as opposed to the green that I did yesterday. I'm going back to color a little bit. I'm going back to color a little bit. I love a good smoke. So if it's a green smoke, a brown, a blue smoke, a brown, of course, is my baseline, purple, you name it, even a burgundy dark red. Ooh, delicious. If I should do some other smoky eyes with different colors, comment and let me know. Hopefully, you enjoyed the conversation. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.